Good day to all the aviapreneurs who are joining us today in a new episode of Aviapreneurs Podcast. In today's episode, we are going to discuss the International Aviation Service Organization. And my guest for today's episode to discuss this topic is the founder and the chairman of the IASO, the International Aviation Service Organization, Mr. Munir Khalifa. Good morning, Munir. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Adnan. Thank you for having me, dear. Thank uh, you. Thank your time and your interest. Uh, you. Mr. Munir is an aviapreneur from Syria. He is the founding chairman of IASO, as I mentioned. Uh, he established the organization in Geneva in 2015. As an education, he has a master degree in economic engineering from Odessa State Economics University. Earlier and before IASO, Munir is an entrepreneur in the aviation industry who has, who has established multiple successful aviation services. He is a founder of Mixjet, an international flight support service provider who's been in business for more than 13 years now. He also have other creative initiatives like OGTS, Online Global Trip Support, an, in, an online flight support service provider. He, uh, he also established other aviation businesses before, such as aviation auctions. Thank you for joining me, Munir. We're going to start the discussion of IAS. You say it IASO, right? IASO, IASO, IASO. Okay. So the aviation industry, Munir, is full of aviation organization. Why another organization? That's right. Uh, to answer your question now, I will go like a little bit to uh, tell about my experience in aviation. I've been working in aviation more than 25 years, uh, mainly in business and flight support uh, services. You know, and uh, I used to work in uh, flight support companies and I joined the uh, other company as a partner Then I established my company, a flight support company. Uh, uh, during this time, I uh, realized there is a gap in uh, aviation industry uh, belong to uh, flight support companies or service providers. Uh, uh, this cab, nobody is taking care from all uh, uh, organizations, uh, uh, I mean, uh, or association, international associations like IATA, IBAC, or ICAO. Uh, uh, as you know, uh, IATA is taking care about the uh, operators and they protect them from everything and uh, they do everything for them. And IBAC also for uh, business aviation operators. ICAO, they have other missions. No, but for flight support companies, no one is taking care about us. Like, like uh, you know, if we have any problems, if we have anything, we know if you go to, to any uh, uh, from this or, or organization, you will not find anyone is protecting you or taking care about you. Because of that, I realized in 2014 to establish uh, a new organization called International Aviation Services uh, Organization to put all uh, service provider under one umbrella to be as a global voice for them, to protect them, to, to, to do everything for them. This is the idea to, to start the uh, International Aviation Services Organization, IASO. So IASO is mainly focusing on the flight support service provider, or does it also include as members, the ground handling companies and the fuel suppliers? Yes. Uh, like different companies and maintenance, for example. Provider. Yeah. Uh, IASO, if you can, it is, it is like a huge, uh, uh, something is very, is very, is very huge. It's including flight support company, ground ground services. Also, we can include uh, include uh, fuel fuel suppliers, maintenance company, catering company. This is the idea to establish IASO, not only to, for to, for all service provider. You know, to make it to make for them like a, a, a platform uh, to be an umbrella for them. You know, to include all to protect them. That means all uh, everything on ground at the airport it's included in, in, in IASO. Yeah, I understand. I, I agree with you because if we look, for example, at uh, the MBAA, uh, the EBAA, the IATA, you see that the aircraft operators, the airlines, mm -hmm. are the main members. Suppliers like us, 
can be a members, but they are associate members or strategic members in IATA, for example. They are not full members. I mean, they are there to support the main members, but their interest is not the main focus of the organization. So IASO is there to fill that gap as I understood from you. That's right. You are right because you said like what we are, when, when we participate in IATA, we will be as a members, but like uh, strategical members or something, you know, but but also uh, they, I'm, I'm not comparing IATA, but IATA because, because they are focusing on something else for to protect operators, not to protect us, you know. Uh, that's why uh, when we are members with IATA, only just member to put their logo in our, <laughs> we will be, uh, I will be honest with you, to put IATA in our, in our signature that we are members. But, but for, for mainly uh, interest, we don't have anything with IATA. They are not doing anything for us. That's why IASO will taking this mission. We, will, we are completing IATA. We are not competing with IATA. We are working to, together to make this industry, to improve this industry, industry uh, and to, to, to make this all companies to, to make like, to work in safety, to protect them. This is what the main, the main issue for, for IASO. Yeah. yeah, yeah. actually when we are a strategic member of IATA, we are there just to attend the industry events, to be able to participate in their to tenders and to sell yeah. the members. Yes, but that's right. To have our interests protected. Yes, that's I agree with you. That's right. And that's right. from, from what you have seen in the last seven years, since mm. 2015 till today, how is the reaction of the market to IASO? Did the actual service provider apply and join IASO? I will be honest with you. You know, when you start the organization, I started in 2014, you know, and 2015, I did the launching in, in, uh, in eBase uh, in Geneva. Uh, after that, we start uh, as inviting people to be as a members in EAS. The problem for, for any organization, new organization, uh, honestly, you need support or governmental support or from like any organization, international organization. If you don't have those from, for, for in your hand, the people, they will not believe you. And, you know, we, we, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you honestly, you know, and they, they are afraid why will be what, and, and when we start this, I asked, so we didn't ask for, 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 for money to be as a member. We didn't ask for some like small amount to be as a members with like yearly, annual, annual fees, but, when I, I realized that, I start with my team, like board directors of this IASO. We start working very hard uh, with, to, uh, with, uh, with uh, ICA to take recognition from ICA. And uh, it takes like, it takes hard work and very long time for that. But after that, they, we, we uh, convince ICA about this gap between like, uh, for an aviation industry, uh, uh, li like between uh, a flight support company and operators, everything on the ground. And when they, they found this, this is true, it was true, there is this gap, nobody feel it. And they recognized uh, IASO in 2018, in the end of 2018. When we got this recognition from them, you know, it is, it was, we have a tools to start to invite uh, invite members to be as uh, to believe us you know but the problem uh, corona started you know in that time and we stopped for more than 2 years now uh, we are starting again and uh, with a new uh, um, uh, task uh, to invite like again uh, flight support company uh, like the ground handler and the fuel companies everything, you know, all, all those companies to be with us. No, uh, uh, now we are deciding also to do uh, uh, the exhibition. It will be the first exhibitions for flight support companies, you know, and uh, uh, now I will not tell you where, because now we are negotiating, it will be with support with some government, you know, uh, and it will be the first flight support company exhibition uh, with support from, from IASO. IASO will do it, yeah. We hope, we hope it will be succeed.
Yeah. I wish you all the best in that mission, and I look forward to hearing from the <laughs> about the location and the scope of the exhibition. Is it going to be in 2022 or 2023? 2023, yeah, 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 2023. I look yeah. forward to attending it. So, from what you, you from what you explained, currently IASO is having accreditation and recognition from the ICAO. Correct? Yes. Yes. That's correct. Yeah. Very, yeah. very interesting. Uh, and you mentioned also that you have a board of directors with you in IASO. Can you mention? Yes. Yes, yes, for sure. We have we have from, from flight support companies. We have two companies now. Uh, as uh, board members like uh, JetX, we have also uh, US with us. We have our board also with very good expert people. We have a from uh, FAA is a, a one one of them. He used to work for thirty years in FAA in America, and uh, one of them he also used to work in uh, uh, ITO ICAO uh, also for many years. One of them from uh, its United Nation for uh, Aviation, what we call humanitarian. And uh, we have multiple from export people, they are joining uh, IASO. And as you know, when we starting, we had before in launching, we have Mr. Ali Nakbi. He was with us. And uh, the problem, Mr. Ali Nakbi, you know, uh, before he, he is the owner of, uh, not owner, the president of MIBA. And after that, they put the, the, now he is the president of IBAC because he, he, uh, he afraid about the conflict between two organization, IBAC, and he decided to, to, uh, to stop the, uh, maybe later he will join us after, I don't know if he will, uh, yeah. Uh, when we started IASO, many of expert people, they believe in that and they joined IASO. Yeah. Yes, I'm sure if Mr. Ali joined, he will add a lot of value and experience to yes, the organization. Uh, yes. I hope to see that happening. Uh, I remember yeah, he was with us before. He was he was with us. If you can if you can check the photos for launching, you will see Mr. Ali Nakbi. He's with us. He was with us for for more than two months. Yeah. Very interesting. I'm going to the legal structure of the organization. Is it, is it yeah. a non-for-profit organization established in Switzerland? It, yeah, for sure. It is a non-profit organization, NGO, NGO. We are not, we are not asking for, for profit from this organization. The main of this organization to organize, to organize, educate, you know, educate these companies. We are, we are trying to make uh, like uh, standards for all private, uh, all uh, 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 what we call uh, aviation uh, providers. For example, I will give you one example now. Uh, for catering for catering uh, companies if you go uh, i will not go for for uh, i will not say for uh, very famous airlines if you go to different kind different world from airlines you will go in the, from the same country you you will buy ticket the same prices from one airlines and from other airlines when you when you will go to see the the catering from one company and other company you will see different different categories, different uh, type of caterings. Now there is no standards for caterings, no standards at all for caterings. You know, why, why I'm paying this money? Some companies, they give me caterings for $5, and other companies, they give me catering for $10. The main issue now for EASO, now we are working to make like standards for caterings company, according to how much you are paying, it should be like percentage from your ticket should be support you in this, uh, I mean, uh, in catering. Why, why I'm taking different catering from different company and I'm paying this money. This is one, one, one example. And also, if you can, we can talk about many standards we can do it. For example, flight support company. If you go to, uh, to I will not say the countries because I will not make one country is now, they have 40 flight support company, 40, exactly. And if you go on the ground, you will see only two companies or three companies, they have offices at the airport and they have staff, they have employee, there are people working with them. Other people, they are working from their home. Wallahi, one of them, they are working from their kitchen, from his kitchen, you know, and he give, giving permission, he giving everything he's giving. Where is the safety? We are talking about something, you are talking about something is very dangerous. 
you know when you have you don't have like employee you don't have people you don't have expert people how you you are doing that the main issue for eso we are providing standards you know you are expert uh, adnan you work very hard to establish your company why different companies they are making trouble for you they are selling your your job in very small prices but because they don't have any expenses and they don't have any knowledge and we are suffering all flight support company but not but not because of us we are suffering because where is the safety if many 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 issue happens well this happened to me one company they refused to work with my company as next jet flight support because of the one somebody uh, uh, offering them very 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 low prices for for permit they took this permit from him it was fake it was fake and they across this country you know they start calling me we don't have permit there is something you know and this is very dangerous as he across the country you know what 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 is what maybe what what will happen you know Absolutely. that's why Yes, yeah, so yes, yeah, so we are doing. We are not. We are not uh, uh, want to make a problem for 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 actual companies, good companies. Just we want to organize this market from flight support company. This is our mission, and also we want to reduce the cost for you, for for everyone, for everyone working in this industry and and, and, and service provider. If you, I will tell you something. If we are in one platform. You are suffering from fuel supplier because you have when you you start to make contract with them, you have like small quantity for fuel in some location. If we are all together and under one platform, we can be strong because your quantity, my quantity, other quantity, and we can negotiate all together with with this fuel supplier, and we can get this for Ayaso together for you and for me. And this is IPAC, not IPAC, what we call the uh, AFRA, do it. AFRA and Africa, they are doing for that. And this Af is a, as well, the Arab Air Carriers Organization. Arab, Arab, okay. we, can, we can do it together. We can get very good prices. This is very good. I ask they are doing something is, is amazing. But but we need to believe in that. We need to believe in that, to be one hand together, not to refuse because Munir Khalifa, he started this. This is not belong for me. Not belong to mix yet. I heard from people they told me this is belong to mix yet. This is not belong to mix yet. This is non or non profit organization or NGO. There is a structure, and this is structure. It, there is uh, elections. Maybe today I am here. Tomorrow I will not be there. You know, I will not be here. This is somebody. You will be anybody else. This is for all of us, Ayaso. But people they don't understand. <laughs> they say this is. Actually, yeah. this, this is what happened actually when AFBA started, uh, Mr. Tarek Ragib started this organization. Yeah. And then yeah. after a couple of years, he stepped down and there is a new chairman for the organization now. So from what I understand from you is you're planning also to have a joint purchasing. So the members can have a purchasing power to negotiate with suppliers to have better yes. rates, higher yes. of services. This is yes. an initiative. Yeah. And yeah. I remember in a couple of years ago, one of the civil aviation in, uh, or, uh, authorities in Africa actually put a condition that for any company to be able to apply for a permit in their country, they must be a member of IASO. Yeah, that's right. This is Congo, Democratic yeah. Congo. Yeah, 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 yeah. When we started, yes, 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 yeah. Because uh, we, we, we signed contract with them to push IASO to make members to be participate in this, you know. Now we're starting to 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 also through uh, ICAO. Now we're starting to make uh, negotiation with civil aviation to make like the same agreement with different uh, civil aviation. Yeah. I wish you all the best. I hope the recognition by ICAO will lead more countries to believe in IASO and to. Uh, and the mission of IASO. I'm going back now to move from IASO to your career. You have a very successful career in the aviation industry for many years, and you established multiple successful aviation businesses. What make you move from profit organization to non-for-profit organization? This is completely different sphere and require, I imagine, different set of skills. Yes, what you are right. This, this, is, this, is, this is what I, I was explaining to you. Uh, it, it, there is no confusion between them. 
Ayaso, this is a different identity and, and Migzet different identity. Migzet, it is like we work very, very hard and it's a successful company and we got recognition this year from AAA for very good service for uh, aviation providers, aviation operators. And this is separate, uh, like flight support company, makes it separate, but uh, non-profit, non and this is also profitable, uh, organ uh, uh, not organization company, for sure. Non-profit organization, not, this is, uh, I created to support, to support non-profit companies, like my companies. In the, in the future, I will have, uh, from this organization, some benefit for sure will come to me, to all companies. You know, this is uh, the main issue. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, let me try to rephrase it. So you were not satisfied of the business environment or the regulatory environment of how your company were operating because of what you mentioned, the lack of standards, for example. So you decided to step in and make organization to help improve the environment. This is right. This is right. You know, I will, I will talk now uh, honestly with you about, about, I think all flight support companies, they have these problems, you know. We are suffering with, with payment from the operators. We are suffering, you are suffering, I am suffering, and other people suffering. And this, I mean, a lot of operators, they are using you, you are using me, they are using many companies, flight support companies, and they are flying from one company to other company. They keep this a huge debt. When they refuse to pay to you, to, to this company, they, they go to another company. You know, this is like, this is happened in the market now. And we don't have any, any tools to stop them. Even like, you know, you, if you go to legal tools, you know, you are, you are, you are a professional in that. You are expert. How long it will take to, to, to have your money back? I have like one cases here in Dubai, more than two years now. I didn't get anything. I paid more money for that. Because, because they are using... We say, we, say, we say you pay good money after bad money, looking for after, bad money. <laughs> yeah, that, you are right. That's why what I'm saying, those people or those bad companies, I'm not saying all bad companies, they are, using, they are using us. They are using us. If we are under one umbrella and you have platform, we will make, like I also, we'll make a blacklist for... You, you will send me, you have this operator and we will, we will use your, your experience and that you, because you are, you are legal person, you know, and the lawyer person, sorry, and uh, doctor, you have do, the doctor uh, and that. We, we will see, we, we will verify the documentation and after, if you will see this, this is true, we will put it in a blacklist in our company. You are members and other members, when somebody, you will come to you, you will go and check, this is a blacklisted company. You will not give them. This is one step. You will not give them, we will stop them. But even so, we will talk to all our members, you know, fuel suppliers, ground handling, everyone, everyone. This is bad companies. Please try to not serve them. We will push them to pay you. We will push them as IASO to pay you. This is, it was my mission. This is my, my suffering because why I start IASO? Believe me, it was the main uh, uh, subject for me, this one, because I suffered with a lot of money. I, I lost it in my, in my business because of this bad company. Yeah. And there is actually a new company which started recently, a couple of months ago, actually under the name of blacklist.aero. This is what, because, because if you can check all my, my, uh, my printing from IASO, you will see this it was mentioned in, in IASO. And they took it, this idea, and they started now. You know, they started. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is because this, this is my concept. This is my idea. Yeah, yeah but they, what we can they, do? they are no adding. Problem. I mean, at the end, they are yeah. the same problem. And yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. I will be having uh, the founder of the company as a guest in the coming episodes, and we will hear oh, very good. his very point good. Point. <laughs> so, uh, Munir, I'm, I'm moving to another subject. You established Mixjet Flight Support, which is a traditional flight support service provider. And later, a couple of years ago, you also launched, uh, I think you launched it in MIBA. It was a very big launch where you launched OGTS, Online Global yes. Trip Support. You, uh, the company was trying to digitize how flight support services are procured and provided. Can you explain to us the difference between the mission and how yeah. the companies operate? Yes, uh, you know, 
we are working all life flight support. You are working in traditional way. Traditional way, the company send you email and and you will um, answer them. You know, and you will. It will be too too much too many emails like between you and, and many them, correspondent. Yeah. Yeah. Many yeah, many correspondent and that. that's why I, I decide to make like also platform for for operators. You don't need to talk to anyone. Just to go to uh, online global trip support and you submit your request and everything it will be in your hand. Uh, you will be as, uh, uh, I mean, um, pilot, uh, as uh, any, anyone, anyone, it will be like, it will be up and in your hand. And now because, because if, you, if you check our life, if you check our life, we are all, all uh, uh, have commitment with our mobile. Yeah, yeah, our mobile, our, you know, we are, we are, we are 24 hours now with our mobile. Why we 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 uh, don't make something also very easy for operators? This is what what I I I, uh, I create. I create something very easy to operator to make something in in, in, in his hand. Anytime he can do, he can he can apply. He can do anything. No need to talk to anyone. No need to talk to. No need to 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 send emails and review um, from answer from. No 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 need to to make any follow up anything from that. This is the idea for, uh, but but unfortunately, you know, I will tell you something. People uh, from now we have categories and and companies and operators companies. There is like uh, for for age I mean age yeah. People uh, fifty uh, up to fifty and people from thirty up to fifty and, you know, the head of companies now. This is all we can, not all people, I don't want to say, but these people, they don't understand now what we are doing for them. You understand me? No, because he used to traditional way to work in this. If something happened now, maybe he doesn't know how to use this, how to make this. He will be a, a little bit confused with his team. He will not understand what is going on. That's why the best idea for, for OGTS to start working on middle age of people who used to use a mobile phone and used to make technology, you must to, 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 to use application, it will be in high position. Then they will force their staff to go for OGTS or another system. Okay. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, as you mentioned, the change is hard. The change is always resistant. Yeah. It's not easy. And especially, I think, I think one of the reasons, because now when we want to book a hotel, we use an online platform. We book yes. a car online. We yeah. rent a car online. But when we want to apply for, in our business, for ground handling and fueling, we send an email. I think the reason is, in my opinion, is because in B2B, it's harder to integrate and to change systems. I mean, if you are buying for yourself, it's easy to order by mobile, to order from the supermarket or to order from the restaurant. But yeah. companies have systems. So to change the system, this requires a lot of commitment. Yeah, need, 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 need time. It, it needs time, you know, to, to make this changing. Yeah, I, I agree Thank with you. so much, Munir. I really appreciate your time and experience. Before I finish, I'm going to ask yeah. you a question that I'm sure the audience would like to listen to your advice about. You are someone. You are a true entrepreneur. You uh, you established profit businesses, non-profit organizations, and in Ayaso, for example, now you are working for seven years, and you still mm. did not see the real results you want from Ayaso from the organization. Despite this, you still continue. You are still pushing. You didn't lose sure. hope, and you will continue working till you see your vision a reality. So what yeah. advice do you give to the entrepreneurs and to the aviation professionals who want to follow your path and yes. establish successful businesses and organizations that improve the current world and industry we live and work in? First of all, I want to advise like young people to make like high dream all the time, very high dream, very high dream. This is most important from when I was young, believe me, I was in primary school. I told uh, my, my colleagues that uh, I will be as a prime minister of my countries, you know, uh, this is it was like because you have to make like your dream is very high. 
to uh, this will bring for you good energy will make this when, when you have good energy it will make your minds to work very successful uh, uh, way to uh, to make all opportunities what do you will we will have it in future it will make it true you know everyone in, 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 in our life you will have a lot of opportunities but why you succeed in one and, and it doesn't succeed in other because you sometimes you are not able to take this because your mind is not able. If you have very good energy and you have very high dream, believe me, sometimes you will take it. As another thing, what I want to say, you have to work very hard for your dream, very hard to make like good strategy, to love what you have, what, what you are doing, to have like patient what you are doing. This is most important. My, 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 my cousins, they are asking my wife, how, how we should be like my, our dad. My wife tell, telling them, you should work very hard as your dad did before, done before, you know. This is most important. Work very hard, believe what you have to do. You love it, you know, and make good energy. For sure, you will, you will succeed in your business. Thank you, Munir. I really appreciate you. this valuable advice. I will follow it, and I'm sure the audience are going to follow it. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me, Adnan. Thank you. Good, good luck for you. Thank you, dear. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you to all the entrepreneurs who joined us today. Uh, I hope you found great value and advice in this episode, and I look forward to seeing you again, again next week in another episode and another great entrepreneur. Have a great day. See you next week. Yeah.